Hello guys, Tattoo Ninja here for back for another video, and today we are doing another Ninjago Sons of Garmron episode review. Instead, we have episode 82, Dread on Arrival. So this episode, and oh wait, if you got, uh, most of you probably, well, the people who clicked on this video and didn't read the name, I'm, and you hadn't watched the episode, I would recommend you leave the video if you don't want to, if you don't want to, um, get spoiled. If you don't want the episode to be spoiled. So, yeah. So, please leave if you don't want to get spoiled. And, yeah, let's get into the video. So, this episode starts off with in Ninjago City. With a guy just walking, walking right. The, stop, the stoplight would just stayed red. But, that's what was happening. So, and, um, he, um, he was starting to go, but then all of a sudden the ninja came by on Krabby, and so did Samurai X. Passed by, and they they went to the police station and got tried to get to the police commissioner. And an old phrase from season one was brought back: you have to make um make your enemy your friend, like um the best way to defeat your enemy is make them your friend. So they went to the police commissioner, and they told Harumi, told him about Harumi was the quiet one, and um, it brought back, it brought a Skybound reference by um, um, Genie, I mean Pirate Genie and Lloyd and Jay actually remembered it because they're the only ones who remembered it. None of the ninja remember. So, um, they need. Needed. They asked the commissioner for help, and they and then after that, it goes to the scene where Lloyd and the Sons of Gomron are Lloyd, Harumi, and the Sons of Gomron are going to the Temple of Resurrection, and Lloyd, and for, for the first time in the season, it showed Misako. Misako was captured by Harumi the whole season until this episode. So, and. Um, so the ninja, at night, the ninja, um, the ceremony was about to start, was getting ready to start, and Sons of Garmon was, all, the Sons of Garmon were all over the city, the police, um, po the police came, and Phil had the Mask of Deception on, and, yeah, they destroyed, uh, put, through a um, megaphone into the water, and caught, they caught, caught, Kai came in with the Katana V11. This is the only time it's seen in the show, just like Zane's bike. And, um, Ultraviolet uses the Mask of Hatred in this episode also, but this is the only episode she uses the Mask of Hatred, because Harumi mostly uses it. And then Pixel gives Kai directions where to go, and then the ninja came by, he got the ninja, and they went to the Temple of Resurrection to fight Harumi. And save Lloyd. And then the ceremony get re it starts to resurrect Garmanon. And um, Chopper Maroon and that one, the other sons of Garmon biker, they look and the ninja were behind them and they got beaten. And then L Lloyd tells the ninja it was a trap and he gets sunken into water. But you don't die or anything, but um, the ninja try and save him and got Misako. And Cole uses his um RX form, which it's actually called his lava arm in this in this season. And um. So once they're saved, Garmron, you can actually, they actually hear Garmron several times in the portal to the departed realm. And, but then the ninja user Spinjitsu powers. And, and they stop Rumi. They needed, like, a piece of hair from both from both the family members 
the mother, I mean, the wife, the brother, and the son. Besides the only mask, the resurrect Armadon, and so Hermie failed. Well, she thought she failed, and then Sons of Garmon again took in prison in Harumi, and Lloyd tells Harumi she was not the one that got away, and she gets mad, and then at the very end, we see Garmon's arm pop out into this on the screen, and that's the end of the episode, and this review actually did seem rushed, I'm sorry, but I didn't really, like, there isn't that many events, events in this episode, so that's why it seemed rushed, because I usually end at 8 minutes, and I'm already ended at five minutes, had it over five minutes. So yeah. And before this is uploaded, episode um Only in the Dragon, Snake Jaguar, Deadman Squall, Quiet One, and Game of Master review should be uploaded by now. And in the day after this is uploaded, True Potential's review should be out. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, please subscribe, please follow me on Facebook and Google Plus, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.